What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm back at y'all with a CR England update. First load went wrong. start this video if you if you have been working for CR England and you know how they operate or if you just know the location let me know what's going on because nobody's letting me know what's going on so I'm stuck in a place I'm stuck like Basically, I'm, I'm kind of stuck. Like, what's going on? Nobody's letting me know that. Y'all see, I got a black in my hand. I am very, I, look, I just got this black. Let me go ahead and just start, you know. Okay, since yesterday, I contacted my DM, I tell him, can he make sure I have a load for tonight because nobody got back to me or nobody has even, I did my fuel card, I, I, registered, my, I, registered, I registered my fuel card, did my calm data, the new message has arrived. let's see what this message says. did everything register my truck when i called fuels they was like uh your truck is not even put in the system yet so call my dm let him know and i also let him know i'm gonna need a load for tonight because ever since what two days ago i still haven't got a load i ain't got nothing i've been laying y'all ain't, ain't nobody contact me or nothing i'm thinking i'm on home time like no nah, i'm ready to go out there and get some money so I contacted him. He sent me a load. He sent me where uh, an empty uh, an empty call so I can go get so, an uh, empty so I can go to my load and get loaded. He sent me two places. He sent me to he sent me two addresses. Addresses. He he said an empty should be here. Either one of these places. I went to the first places. I went to the first place which which was Nestle. Nestle was closed. There were closed. And I didn't even see a CR England trailer out there at all. Circled around twice. Didn't see a CR England trailer or nothing like that. So, the next place I went to UPS. UPS said I can't get no empty from there. Period. No empty. They can't give me no empty. Period. Like, didn't even type it in, look, nothing. I ain't, they ain't giving me no empty. It's over with. So, I called them. The first dude they picked out. First of all, I contacted them through the uh, Qualcomm. Nobody responded back to my message. It had been like 30 minutes already. So, 30 minutes to an hour already. So, I'm like, I'm finna call. When I call, uh... Uh, I'm the only one in here. When I called him, he answered the phone. And I explained to him, like, what's going on? Like, I'm running my clock down. Uh, before my break, I only have four hours and 30-some minutes or 20-some minutes left from a whole eight-hour clock before my break. And I still haven't picked up my load yet. So he's like, well, I'm the only one working here picking up a phone call. What? What? Do you think I'm a rookie? Well, I am a rookie. But do you think I I'm, I just got out of training or something? Are you serious with me right now? No. So, I he, he he interrupts me. He's like, uh, well, well, is it an emergency? I said, he was like, is it an emergency? 
a medical emergency? I said, no, but it's an emergency. So he dispatched me to somewhere else. But I thought you was the only one working. Anyway, so I got to the next one. He sent me to Atlanta. A new message has arrived. <sighs> so he sent me to the Connolly location for CR England, their drop yard or terminal or whatever it's called. Because it seems like it's no maintenance shop or nothing out here so i get here the trailer is over there i'm still here the trailer is over there i'm gonna put pictures in here now is over there and first of all when I went when I seen the trailer I knew it was gonna be something like because I don't want to this place I went to that place no empties nobody can give away empty and boom right at the if if, if, if it was this easy I should have sent me to the yard in the first place and boom there's a trailer at the yard I told him, I was on the phone with my wife. I said, I told my wife, I was like, it's something wrong with this trailer. It's about to be something. I know it. So when I first get out there, uh, the the landing gear, the the handle for the landing gear is on the opposite side. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I go around the other side, the landing gear, I let it down a little bit so I can get up underneath it. But before I do that, I inspect that trailer. Went around, hit the wheels. One wheel is flat to the T. It's flat. So I'm like, okay, boom. I've been riding around all day. I just put in a maintenance request. Somebody can come out here and fix this wheel so I can get on this road so I'm ready to go. Open open the door. Go around. Keep going around to the back. Open the door. It's a whole tire in the back. A whole tire in the back. In 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 the in the trailer. A whole tire. So I'm like, what the fuck? Where did this tire come from? Are you serious? So I closed the door, went on around. The tire came from the other side, and there's nothing but a rim on the other side. Oh my God, are you serious? They just sent me to a trailer that's out of service. Are you freaking kidding me right now? There's a big hole on the side of the trailer. And then what tops it all along, man. In front of the trailer where the reefer motor is, there's no cap for it. Nothing but wire showing. And you sent me to this trailer. So, I contact the damn through Qualcomm like I'm supposed to because it seems like every time you call they have an attitude even if you sit and went through the Qualcomm or not they always got an attitude saying that they uh, are too busy and I'm not lying this is what goes on they're saying that, that they're too busy or this and that so I sent my message so I just waited I waited I waited four five six hours passed Think. sent another message okay, let me go back to the message let me see Basically, what I, what I was saying was, I have burned out all my hours, and uh, y'all have sent me to three locations. They all was dead ends. This trailer that I'm at right now, this the drop that I, I mean, the spot that I'm at right now, which is Connolly, this trailer is out of service. I told them everything that was wrong with the trailer, and basically, I told them, can they send me a M, a, 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 can they send me to a good empty because the the locate can y'all make sure 
there's an empty and can y'all make sure they're open like can y'all just please can you do that please this is my first trip and i'm not even on it like i'm i'm, I'm, I'm stuck trying to find a See, they're sending me to more places again, like... What was I saying? Uh, all the places that y'all sending me to are dead ends. Like, what is going on? Like, like what's really going on? Can y'all just send me to a place so I can get an empty? That's all I need. Please! Please! So, six hours go by. Sent them another message. What that message said, I think. Uh, hold on. Uh, and I told them that I was not gonna make it on time because of dispatch. I told them just like that. Uh, I said, what's going on with this MT? I have been sitting all night. I have ran all my hours out and still have not gotten no help. And for this to be my first load for CR England, this looks really bad. I meant to say I have ran all of these miles and wasted so much time for no reason. Can somebody let, uh, let me know something? So this is the kicker. They send me back. It's a mer. They sent me back an emergency message. Guess what the message says? Teammate in Illinois. Good morning. I am trying to get a phase two smoking male driver picked up in team in Illinois today or tomorrow. Please let me know if this is a match and someone you can team with. He's ready to work. Thank you, Adam. Send all those messages you send me back a teammate when I already got a teammate I did not sign up for that did I did I sign up for that I didn't sign up for that I did not tell you that why are you messaging me about a teammate and still haven't replied back to my message about an MT so I can get the slow and so I can get to where I need to be going. See, this is, I, man, somebody hit me up in the comments and let me know, like, you gotta be working for CRA first. And let me know, like, what do I do with this? Like, Do I need to change fleets? Do I need to do something else? like I'm still sitting here. And I'm the type of person where I don't like to think of it as a bad situation. I always just communicate with me. You let me know if, 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 if this is the point. If this the if this is the point to where it is we don't have any enemies right now. But uh, we're trying our best to find you one, and for you gotta accommodate me. You have you gonna have to because me sitting around waiting at a yard when I can be home or when I can be doing something else so I can get some money. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to pay me. I mean. But if it was like that, you know, we're going to accommodate you for, uh, um, pay you for uh, waiting patiently to get a load, uh, not to get a load because I got a load, but to get an empty, I'm cool with that, long as you pay me, because it's not my fault that y'all don't have empty trailers, what? But yeah, that's my rent. 
I'm still sitting here. Um, I'm still sitting here, man. I'm still sitting here. So. I'll update y'all, I guess, tomorrow to let y'all know what to, tonight is looking like. Or I might update y'all tonight. Depends on how long I'm sitting here. I'll catch y'all later, man. <laughs>